today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can create a calendar in Excel so that you can see all of your social media content and have kind of an organized overview so that you don't miss anything, can look at themes, and keep track of your social media progress. So welcome to my social media calendar. Basically what I've done is I have taken an Excel sheet and I went in Let's pop open the top just so that you can see exactly what I've done. <laughs> it doesn't want to do it. Why don't you want to do it? This one. Okay. So I went into Excel and I went into file and I went into open. Oh, sorry. New. New. And if you come down here, you can see that there are various templates that you can just borrow for free. So out of these templates, what I did was it doesn't really look like there's one in here at the moment. But there are some you can say search online for templates and i put in the word calendar helps if you can spell it correctly and then there are various calendars here that you can choose from so there's all sorts i just chose a very simple one and you can choose whatever calendar you would like and this is how i'm setting up my social media calendar so if you look on here i have all sorts of little things sometimes they're repeated as you can see by the 8th and the 7th. Um, and these all each have a meaning. So they're color coded and this is what is going on. So for me, the dark purple, these are my shorts. So shorts are YouTube videos that are less than a minute long. And I have all of my shorts set up until March 14th. I have to do some more shorts and I have some sporadically kind of put in because I know that they they go with the um, the longer video that is being attached to that day. So when it comes to the longer videos, those are green. So these are um, videos that I have recorded for either um, a chapter or some uh, like writing runs day when I do real time writing and you can watch me as I write. And um, there's like equipment for audio. So different things like I'm doing kind of a narrating series right now. And it's just little, little videos, a um, little bit longer, obviously, basically anywhere from probably eight minutes to a half hour, those sorts of videos. So each of those, if they're in color and they're bolded, they are done and they are posted. So I'm trying to do about five of those a week. I'm trying to put my um, narrated chapters, like my audiobooks, on the weekend. And then I'm trying to have some other uh, videos during the week. Now, the blue video so right here. So the blue is going to be the full audiobook. This is me releasing a full audiobook. And it's taking up one of my days, which is kind of nice because then I don't have to do a video that day. But it's going to be the full audiobook. It's going to be all the chapters put together with a little bit of an opening. And you, that way, if you don't want to go through the playlist and watch each individual video, maybe you get them out of sequence or something happens, you can do the whole audiobook, all four hours and 55 minutes and 15 seconds. <laughs> so it's right there on uh, March 9th. That is going to be released. Now, the next. So yeah, everything's got a cute little name to go with it. Like, you know, um, Max uh, Meet L, which is learning about the character, learn more about the book. Um, Do you enjoy Cozy Mysteries? That one is just a little advertisement one. And when it comes to the red ones, I'm starting to get back into doing the red again. This is, I haven't done social media for a while. It shows um, in all of my sales. So it's time to get back at it and it's time to get back at writing. And, um, you know, when you, when you're working full time, plus you're doing some education for your job, you don't get much time. So now I have some time to dedicate to writing and whatnot, but I want to get as much done in a month and scheduled as possible ahead because I know that this summer is going to be super busy with gardening and other things. So yeah, it's, uh, it's time to get this scheduled and done as much as possible. So all of these red ones here are my WordPress account. So I put up a daily little WordPress um, that has to do with the video that's getting downloaded that day, or maybe a video that was previous done that I hadn't put on it. 
and that way it gets out to those followers and it's supposed to <laughs> we'll see if it happens it's supposed to share through jetpack to all of my other social media so my facebook page my instagram twitter feed and a few other things but um it's been having some trouble in acting up lately so we'll see if it actually works i have the feeling that it won't which means that i'll have to go in and actually physically share it each day but at least at least it's there for the ones that are on the wordpress so when it comes to the black ones so these little black ones that are not bolded these are ones that i am looking to do yet looking to record i've kind of scheduled them in ideas they're not committed that i have to do them but they are there and i just if i get them done then i'll make them bold and i'll i'll put the appropriate color with them so i'm hoping to do right today we're doing the march youtube schedule so let's uh it's going to be a green one and we'll bold it and as soon as it's on uh youtube uploaded then we're good and we have another video done so this kind of just shows you an easy way to manage your media social media posts your youtube posts and so you can see what you've done where you're going and what you still need to do so i've got like one two three days where i have nothing in these sh two of them are short days so i still need one actual video day in here and then i need to record these three videos put some shorts in and finish it up for the month so and also obviously do my wordpresses associating with it just a quick couple of paragraphs and a link to the youtube video for each one but it gives gives the opportunity to uh just kind of see what work you have to do what work you have done and get ahead of the schedule so that you're not doing it each and every day going oh what am i thinking of doing and for me i'm like got writing wednesday so i have a theme on wednesdays um i'm doing narrating tuesdays at the moment so i kind of have a theme for that i have odds and ends you know for for thursday just whatever i want to throw in and it gives me the opportunity to kind of lay out what i want to do and then then it makes it easier right so you're not just kind of random here there and everywhere if you enjoyed today's video keep on track to learn more by clicking the post below or the you know video above and learn more about keeping track of your social media posts narrating videos writing tips real-time writing with me or even just listening to my audiobooks thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time